Hello, my name is Joey Cook, and like many talk shows are this time of year, I'm reporting to you from the safety of my own home. I graduated from Carleton this year, year of the coronavirus, and Carleton, the place of the Frisbees, or home of the Frisbees, should I say. Uh, I went to AKP during the fall of 2018, and I majored in Japanese and computer science. As you might be able to tell from my background, there are many reasons that I might have wanted to go to Japan. Uh, as to why I wanted to go to AKP specifically, I would have to attribute that to my professors and my senpais who told me about it. I knew I wanted to go to either Tokyo or Kyoto. Um, I couldn't really decide on which one, uh, but I wanted more of a balance of like the city, urban. Uh, for me, living in Idaho, especially Moscow, Idaho, which has like 20,000 people in it. Kyoto is a huge city to me. I know it might not be to all Japanese people, but it is to me. And there's also a lot of nature. So I guess that's why I decided to go on AKP specifically. I enjoyed every class I took at AKP, so I'm not going to say that one of them was my favorite. But what I will say is that I can count on one hand the amount of times that I've had JoJo as an assigned reading and as an assigned field trip in one of my classes. And that would be my World of Manga in Translation class. I mean, come on. Easily my favorite thing about Kyoto is the fact that you get this urban techie environment while at the same time having all this nature and this very old world Japan type feel. A lot of times there are these festivals that have been going on for hundreds of years, going around all the time uh, near a street near you, depending on where you're located, but they're happening all the time. There's even a website for it, but at the same time you still don't feel like you're out in the boonies because there's a lot of people, you have the big buildings or seven story buildings like everybody's expecting from a place maybe like Tokyo uh, but it's all there in one location and you can walk to all of it and train around and go to all of it and that's what makes Kyoto great. How did the cultural grant affect my experience? How did the cultural grant affect my experience? All jokes aside, the culture grant was a great part of my experience and allowed me to see things like a sumo match, a soccer game, go to an aquarium. I also got to see a Super Mario Orchestra, as well as many other things. Although I strongly believe that everybody should go and try the homestay experience, I will say it's one of the most variable parts of AKP. If your homestay experience is bad, it's definitely not going to ruin the whole experience, but it can definitely worsen some aspects given that you have to uh, live with this family every day. Um, but what I will say is my family was good, we had a good experience, there were some ups and downs, some people had it better than me, some people had it worse than me, but it was great and I highly recommend everyone do it. Worst case scenario, you develop your character, as they say, and you had a great experience doing it, and I highly, highly, highly recommend everybody that they go and pursue the homestay experience, it's fantastic. One of the biggest lessons that AKP taught me was a lot of the barriers that people have in their head are just that, barriers in their head, they don't actually exist. A good example of this is during the first two weeks of me going to Japan, I decided I wanted to talk to Japanese people. But I was worried that some people might not want to talk to me, or if I talked to somebody who I didn't know in a cafeteria, they would think I was annoying, or something like that. So I threw that thinking out of the way and decided to just go on and embrace it. And I was rewarded 100% of the time. I never had a bad experience as long as you're being uh, genuine and you ask beforehand and uh, don't try to bother people. People are great. They'll love to talk. I think this applies to many aspects of, oh, maybe I want to go over here, but my friends don't want to go over here. Well, then go by yourself. It's great. It's fun. I did it before. It's fantastic. I have zero regrets any time I decide to do something that I thought was interesting. And I think other people should embrace that as well when going to AKP or pretty much just anywhere. Many people go abroad for many different reasons. And my last piece of advice is that just make sure you get what you want out of it. The staff for AKP is great, but they're not going to be able to make you fluent in Japanese or ensure that you get to go to the sumo maps that you always been wanting to go to, or ensure that you can talk to as many Japanese people as you want. If you want to do something, make sure that you're the one leading the charge and make sure that you're getting the experience you want. If you do that, then I think you'll be happy regardless of how anything turns out.